Hi, I'm Johnny. We're about to go on a shell walk here at Sandville Sea School. Uh, we're just going to walk down the beach at the Sandel Resort and Spa and see what we can find. A lot of our islands on Florida are going to be parallel with the, the mainland of Florida itself, whereas Sanibel runs perpendicular. So when all of these currents and everything come through, we're really getting a lot of these shells washed up on these beaches. So that's why there are so many shells on Sanibel. The sand are broken up shells. It's just calcium carbonate and it's always being broken down by acid in the rain, by the water, getting you know smashed up um, along the shorelines and stuff like that. So if you watch these little guys here, there's tons of them. So these guys here, a lot of people just think that they're normal shells, but when we put them down, so watch this guy, so he digs down. And so these guys do a crazy migration four times a day. They'll go from the high tide mark to the low tide mark, back to the high tide mark, back to the low tide mark. And it's there's a lot of plankton in this area and a lot of things that they're gonna be eating. Isn't that cool? This is one of my favorite sea creatures here. If you look right here, that's his body. And then that's his little head right here coming out. This is the snail that makes the shell. And once this snail will die, it'll be inhabited by a different sea creature. So in here is a hermit crab. It's a long wrist hermit crab. So hermit crabs don't make shells. They inhabit shells that are already made by other sea creatures. And so Sanibel is a sanctuary island. So with that being said, there are a lot of rules and regulations. There's no live shelling on Sanibel. Fish, anything that you find alive, you cannot take without a permit. During turtle season, after nine is turtle time, so you have to have all your lights off on all of these buildings here, you have your blinds closed, lights off, and that's because the turtles, the baby turtles, will follow the moon out to the ocean. So all these lights can fuse them and they can go inland instead of towards the ocean. It's illegal to tamper with any turtle nests. It's also illegal to touch any nesting mothers and disturb them while they are nesting.